Let's talk about Hialeah now and the huge win for Steve Bovo. His supporters seem to like the endorsement from former President Donald Trump. CBS 4 Francis Wang is covering the race for us. She is live in Hialeah with the results. Francis? Hey, good evening, Elliot Lauren. That endorsement from former President Donald Trump, definitely a huge talker by many voters for Esteban Steve Bovo. They also touted his political experience. As you mentioned at the top of the newscast, he received more than 59% of the votes across 48 precincts. There was an incredibly passionate and loud crowd here tonight at the Hialeah Casino. This area was actually completely packed just, in, uh, just until about an hour and a half ago. And we actually saw a lot of the same voters here that we saw in our earlier newscast at JFK Library. Many of them say they want issues resolved from better water rates, more park programs, and a big one for a lot of the voters we talked to, more resources for fire and police departments. Bobo was joined by supporters on stage, including Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez and Miami-Dade County Commissioner Jose Pepa Diaz. While declaring victory, he ended with his campaign slogan, Hialeah first, Hialeah always. Now that's a stark contrast to what his main challenger, Isis Garcia Martinez, had said about this run being his, quote, backup plan after he lost the county mayor. Run. She was disappointed in her loss tonight, telling us she's done with politics but will always want to help her city. I want to uh, congratulate Steve Bobo for his what he's now the new mayor of the city of Hialeah, and I wish him the very best. And if there's anything ever that I can do to help or help the city, I would be more than happy to do that. And as that mayor, I'm going to work as much as I can to make sure that the American dream that many have sought to find in the city of Hialeah is a reality. Uh, we heard you address your supporters, obviously, on stage. For people who maybe didn't vote for you, who were maybe worried that this was some sort of consolation prize, what do you say to those no, people? There's no, no consolation prize. You know, I'm raising my family here in Hialeah. I care deeply about this city, and I want to make sure that our city takes its rightful place at, at the seat of the table, whether it's at the state or the federal uh, government. And I'm going to use all my contacts and all my relationships that I've built over the years to leverage that for the residents of the city of Hialeah. And those contacts and relationships he mentioned, of course, including former President Donald Trump. Many Bovo supporters we saw at the voting precincts and at the celebration tonight wore shirts and held signs that said Trump Bovo. Some even chanted for a Trump 2024 campaign. The former president issued a late statement to Bovo congratulating him tonight, calling him a friend, a great patriot, and said, quote, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bovo, the first Hialeah mayor in a decade. The new one will be sworn in on Friday. Live from Hialeah tonight, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.